Hey, how's it going? Welcome to the show. And today we're going to talk about how to set up a bear hang using a three to one pulley system. It's overall benefits, basic mechanics, and what you need to get started. So let's get to her. This system, also known as the 3 to 1 Z pulley system, primarily functions on a 3 to 1 mechanical advantage through the use of two pulleys at the top end of a rope and another at the bottom end attached to the pack. Essentially tripling the amount of weight, the user can haul upwards allowing for much larger and heavier food packs to be hung from a tree. This is especially beneficial on long multi-day expeditions or with large group trips where a lot of food is needed. Now before we get started, I just want to stress the importance of using a pack hang while out in the backcountry. There are plenty of bears and other crafty creatures who are more than happy to take any easy pickings left lying around at their disposal. Bears are large powerful creatures who can break into packs, coolers, cars, and food barrels with ease, and boast an extremely potent sense of smell allowing them to track down food sources over large distances. So do not for any reason keep your food with you in your tent at night. Having your food out of reach and away from camp acts as an excellent preventative measure from a wide variety of potential wildlife related issues. You don't want to be stuck three days deep in the backcountry with no food at all. So let's get started. You'll need two sturdy weight bearing ropes, one of which being at least two times longer than the other. Approximately 40 to 50 feet for the shorter rope and 75 to 100 feet long for the long rope. You'll also need three climbing grade pulleys with carabiners pulley carabiners, or a combination of the two. There is no wrong answer, it's up to you. When setting up a pack hang, you preferably want to find a weight-bearing branch about 15 to 20 feet off the ground and at least 60 feet away from camp to keep predators away. Using the shorter rope, tie some sort of weight to the end of it, whether it be a rock, a half-filled water bottle, or the end of the rope wrapped into a bundle. This will make the throw significantly easier as the weight provides more momentum. Aim for a sturdy spot on the branch with a clear flight path, approximately 5 feet from the base of the tree for best results. Clip the first two pulleys or pulley carabiners to the already thrown rope using a bowline knot. To tie a bowline knot, bring the rope around your anchor then create a small loop. Then with the loose working end, bring it through the loop, around the rope, then back down through the loop again. To finish it off, just pull on either end tightly. Run the long rope through the two pulleys, pull down on the section of rope in between the two pulleys and attach the third pulley with the carabiner hanging off of it, creating a half loop in the center of the rope with two hanging ends on either side of the pulley system. With your hands holding on to the third hanging pulley and the two loose ends of the long rope, pull the short rope up into the tree, bringing the pulley system up while managing the slack long rope on either side. Tie off the shorter rope to a nearby tree using a bowline or a girth hitch with a friction wrap. To use a girth hitch with friction wrap, make a large loop in the rope and wrap it around the tree. Bring the loose end through the loop, allowing the rope to catch on itself. Then wrap the loose end around the tree in the opposite direction. To finish it off, make a small loop in the loose end of the rope and wedge it between the tree and the top end of the rope. The weight of the pack will hold it in place. No knots required. Tie one of the hanging loose ends of the long rope to the pack using a bowline knot. Then clip the hanging carabiner to the newly created loop. Now simply pull on the other loose end of the long rope and haul the pack upwards. Then tie off on a nearby tree using whichever method you prefer. There are many other uses for the 3 to 1 Z pulley system other than for a simple packing. It has been used historically for mountaineering but can also be used to save a pin canoe or to lift an unconscious victim from a nasty fall to rescue. Well, thanks again everyone. Hope this was helpful. Have a good one and get out there and explore. If you enjoyed this content, give it a like, subscribe, and click the notification bell for more Tripping Authority videos.